Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to discuss lateral sound fields. We're going to talk about sound fields over over uh, the the year 2015, but I want to focus on the lateral sound fields today because as control room people, as control room engineers, as audiophiles, as listeners, we have to be aware of the lateral sound field, which is the horizontal domain in front of us. That that's where most of the energy and most of the activity and quite honestly, most of the confusion lies. So let's stay focused on the lateral sound field in the horizontal domain for now. What are we trying to accomplish within this domain? Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a graphic with, with some testing procedures that you can do at home to see how well you've managed to uh, control the lateral sound field in your listening or control room. So we're going to talk about pressure versus reflection because those are the two things that we have to deal with. Low frequency pressure, reflections off the room surfaces. Every term, every phenomena in room acoustics can be broken down into pressure and reflections. We could sit here all day, you could throw terms at me, they would fall into the, one of those two categories. So how, how do we want to treat the pressure and the reflections in the horizontal and lateral domain? We want equal pressure and we want equal pressure on both room sides. We want equal reflections on both room sides. We don't want one side having more pressure than the other, and we don't want one side having more reflections of the other. So we're going to do a little test. I want you to walk right between your speakers and stand at the middle point facing the front wall and your equal distance between your speakers. Play your favorite music, music that has low end into it, low, the music that has middle and high frequencies, and just stand facing the front wall. So you have a speaker here, speaker here and you're going to stand right here in the middle and then you're going to listen. You're going to listen for pressure and you're going to listen for re reflections. And you should be able to hear those distinct areas on both sides of your room. And standing between your speakers or a little bit in front of them in the middle point, you'll be able to get that. So just look straight ahead, listen to the music and you'll hear the pressure on both sides and you'll hear the reflections on both sides. So secondly, you want to figure out how much energy is in the lateral or horizontal domain or sound field. To do that, I want you to stand, put a little platform behind the listening position and elevate yourself about one foot off the floor. Face the front wall and just listen. All the energy in the room should be below or just a little bit above your speakers. So all the energy, all the low, middle, and high frequencies that are going on in the sound field that we're talking about should be just a little bit above the speakers or below, should not be in the top of the room. Now, maybe some high frequencies will uh, become airborne, so to speak, and, and get their way into the top of the room. We're not going to be too concerned about that. But most of the energy that's created by your speakers should be in that horizontal or lateral domain. And that's the goal. And the room treatment that you use to contain that and manage it should be appropriate on the pressure side and the reflection side. So in graphic 13, we, we see how we perform this test. We see how the pressure should be equal. It's a fun test to do. Just do it any time and, and you'll, you'll get the idea of it right away. Graphic 14, we show the horizontal sound field behind the listening position, elevate it a little bit and you get an idea of uh, how well your horizontal sound field is defined. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that it had value to you. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alternatively, if there are other topics that you wish to discuss, discuss or see discussed in a video presentation, Send me a, an email, info at acousticfields.com, and uh, we'll get them on our list and, and get them done for you. I release a new uh, video about every week, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel and keep uh, updated on our new videos.